is Shallon. I'm from Omega Gymnastics Academy, and I am an elite gymnast who represents Canada internationally. I started gymnastics when I was three, and I didn't start competitive until I was seven. Okay, well I started, like I said, I started elite at when I was seven, and then I didn't go to my first nationals until I was about ten or eleven, like around there. Kind of just training because like I was doing it in the gym and I and I like kind of thought like oh like my coach is making me do this like this should be normal like everybody else is doing gym and every other event that there is right but I didn't really think of it as like anything special I was kind of just training and then he was like hey you're gonna try this ball and I was like okay well I guess I'll try it then <laughs> like I do miss a lot of school because I go to tri like on trips and stuff but like sacrifices like I've had to like like not hang out with friends too sometimes like I know you said I have friends but like I do have to like limit it at a time because like I like sometimes I spend like my whole weekends just doing work because like I need to catch up and I sometimes I like fall behind so like like um, friend time is like definitely a sacrifice that I lose or like a privilege that I lose if my work is like not done or like I'm behind it was like a, it was like a goal but I never really like thought it would like happen so it was kind of just like, oh, like my parents kind of like put it in my head, like, oh yeah, like should go maybe to the Olympics. But it's like when it actually happened and then you're actually there, it's like, oh my goodness, like it's like your like dream is actually like becoming a reality here. Like it's not a joke, right? Yeah, it was tough. It was tough for sure because I competed like the Aminar for like the first time. And I'd, I'd been training it before, but I was like kind of unsure because it wasn't, like I wouldn't say it was like super consistent, but it was kind of new. And I, I'd i never really done it at a big meet. I'd maybe done it at like the Omega meet or like smaller ones, but I haven't, I didn't do it at a big competition like that. Like it was like the first time and it was really nerve-wracking for sure. Like really nerve-wracking. I remember just being like so nervous. Well in like the training gym I did it like a couple times and like it was good so I was kind of like telling myself you did this in the other gym so like why can't you do it here right? It's just like another vault, another day, another competition to like complete. When I did it in the training gym I was like hey you did this before so like you like you have to do it now like I was like legit saying to myself in my head like you have to land this if you fall on your butt and you embarrass yourself in front of the whole world this is gonna be so bad like it's like you challenge you have to like stick this ball like actually like land on your feet <laughs> because I was like if I don't land it's gonna be like really embarrassing everybody's gonna be like oh so disappointed right it's like the pressure was like on like actually like it was really intense and I think like for most gymnasts like we have to like kind of like block everything out because at Olympics it's like blinders on don't really pay attention to like what's going on around you because you don't want to like get distracted you want to stay focused right so I think like that was like a major factor in like going out there onto like 
the floor and like representing your country, right? It's like really important. So like I feel like if I was like distracted or like any more nervous than I already was, if I were to like pay attention to the crowd or something, like it maybe would have like thrown me off just a little bit more. Like I was already like rattled, but like if I were to like pay attention to that, then it would definitely like freak me out even more, right? So. Amazing, absolutely fantastic. Being with like like the whole team and everything, the atmosphere is just indescribable. Uh, I would have to say Ellie because like she's been to like two Olympics already, and like in Rio she helped me out a lot, like with like all the like the stress and anxiety and everything. So I think like she's a good role model for like a lot of younger athletes because like she knows what she's doing and she's like really confident when she goes out on the floor, right? So I think younger girls can like aspire to that level of what she has. Sort of like veterans, cause I could kind of like learn from them and they teach me like their techniques and like their ways on how to like act and not to like get distracted. Uh, there was another girl also who was 16. So I guess we were kind of like supporting each other. We were both like the same age, right? So we kind of were like together, like both getting support from Ellie. Uh, end of May, so it's Canadian Championships, but we call it Nationals, like, cause it's just like, we have like Elite Canada and we have Nationals and they're just like two of the major meets in Canada for like elite gymnastics. So like that one like kind of determines if you're gonna make like any international assignments and stuff like that. I'm trying to add like a Shaposh to Stalder in my bar routine for Nationals. And then maybe, actually just bars, I'm trying to focus on upgrades right now because my other events are like, okay at the, at the moment but I think just bars is one of my weaknesses so that's what I want to like work on go maybe to the Olympics <laughs> uh, yeah it's hard to say right now because I still have like two years but I mean it's a goal for sure